what is up? So today's project is to upgrade the headlight and the blinkers to LED. They were sent to me by this company called LX Light. I'll have a link in the description to their Amazon store. So I installed their tail lights on my Jeep. So the company contacted me and offered some more of their merchandise. So let's have it installed and let's see how it looks. So we'll be turning this and this and this into this and this and this so first let's see what we got i'm really excited about this because all the headlights you see for harleys are black but this one is silver so it should look super sharp then we got this bracket i'm not sure if i'm gonna need it better have it and finally we have the back LED turn signals and the front LED turn signals all right so let's start with the headlight first the installation should be super easy the first thing is very important we got to protect our fender just in case something falls now the headlight has only one bolt here and you'll need Phillips head and the ring should come off now we got one, two, three more Phillips heads. And you just take it off like this. Once you have the light out, there are two tabs on the side. Just push them and pull. Just like that. Before Actually connecting the plug, I want to see if the light fits. Yeah, it fits exactly. Looks nice. Now, let's connect the light. Somehow it's fighting me. It doesn't, it doesn't want to go in all the way. I mean, it's pretty solid, but it's still not all the way. Everything is right here, but it's just not, doesn't click. It just does not plug in all the way. There is like a millimeter gap so you can see the contact. So there is something appears to be off with this plug. I'm going to try to connect this, this harness. It's not meant to be used with a Harley, but just to see if it works. Yeah, it is nice and tight here, but when I plug it in into the bike, I have a gap about like this. Let me try again. That doesn't look good. So I have an idea. What if I take this plug apart? It wouldn't fall out, but there's there's like one sixteenth of an inch gap that might just short circuit something. Just want to test even even if the headlight works in the first place before I do all this work. So I just put some electrical tape just so I can turn the bike on. Damn. That is nice and bright, certainly. All right, it looks really good. Actually inspires me to fight with this even more. I mean, it's stared and it's tight when I try to take it off, so I think it will, will not fall out when I ride the bike. Alright, so I, I pushed it as hard as I could and I got it as tight as I possibly can without breaking this. 
I still see the metal terminals it will not fall off it definitely clipped on but doesn't make me happy so I think what I'm gonna do is I put some electrical tape I know this is super ghetto but well I want to have this headlight and I don't want to have this short so this is the only solution that I can think of right now Let's check it again. Yeah, it still works. It fits perfect. Nice and snug, no issues. All right, let's install the ring now. Just like on a Jeep, hopefully. It doesn't break just like on a Jeep. Low beam works, now high beam. Works too. And finally, let's install the ring. Looks just amazing, I love it. It was a pain in the ass to install so glad that I didn't get the, the dark one because it just looks perfect. And here's before and here's after. What a difference. So let's do the turn signals now. And that should be definitely pretty easy, right? I already replaced the cover from the orange one to the dark one. And all you need is a flat screwdriver and you just pop it gently. And the light bulb, push it in and turn it counterclockwise. My turn signals are also my running lights and the light bulb has two contacts, just like the turn signals they sent me. And if you look at the metal peepers on the light bulb, one of them is actually higher than the other one, so you should align them with the socket and if it doesn't turn, just flip it around. Works. Nice. And a turn signal. Damn. That's freaking awesome. So it looks like this doesn't really uh, attached to anything, it's just being held by the by the lens itself and the lens just simply pushes it against the body of the turn signal. Yeah. No gaps. Sitting nice and tight. Oh, I spoke too soon. Actually, there is a little gap. I try to push it relatively hard. I don't want to break the turn signal, but the lens seems to be pretty tight, so I'm concerned about this, but I'm gonna move on. And let's see how the left turn signal works out. The left side is perfect, absolutely no gaps perfect fit so this is how it looks like low beam high beam right turn signal left turn signal okay for sure now the back should be super easy um, I'm running late my girlfriend is mad at me um, so, I gotta make it super quick. Smells actually pretty good. Um, smells like computer parts. I don't, I won't even test it. Just install it straight.
and yeah, they're super bright. Very nice. I like it a lot. So I just opened the turn signal for the third time off camera. And yeah, I was able to turn, turn the wires uh, clockwise, to actually turn the, the bulb itself clockwise so that the LED got pushed in all the way. And I finally was able to close this lens properly. There are no gaps. All of the lenses are sitting nice and super tight. I'm not concerned about any moisture getting in. And just to compare, here's my low beam. Here's my high beam. This is definitely way, way wider uh, than the stock. You cannot see it on the camera, but there are actually little halos. So that is it. Another urban project. It looks pretty awesome. Once again, huge thanks to Alex Lights for hooking me up with this cool stuff. You'll see the link in the description so you can check out their Amazon store. And if you like this video, make sure to share it with your friends. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll know when the next video is coming up. Take it easy. P.S. everybody, I just took the bike for a ride and I've noticed one curious thing. Even though the blinkers seem to be blinking at the same rate as they used to be with the regular bulb, the, the light indicator seems to be going crazy. And it's interesting, you can see it's blinking way faster. I thought they were on the same circuit, apparently not. Uh, I might need to change a relay for this. Alright, that's it.